Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the center tape full wave rectifier in LT Spice. Okay, so in the LT Spice simulation, I will explain how this circuit works and I will show you the waveform of center tape full wave rectifier. Okay, so just under try to understand this circuit. So let us start with the input. You can see here we have sinusoidal signal with the amplitude of 240 volt and 50 hertz okay and you should also consider the series resistance which is 0, 0.00 ohm right so you, you you have to give the value for series resistance right so if you go at this side this is this is a simple inductor and the value for this inductor is 100 micro henry and now you can see at the second this is the primary side that's why i have written here is lp and this is the secondary side so we have two center taped transformer right we have center taped transformer so this winding is called ls1 and this winding is called ls2 they both are tied together and it is connected to the ground and you can see here this this is connected to the d1 and this side is connected to the, the d2 so this is basically a typical a typical circuit diagram for center tape full wave rectifier right and here i have connected one load that is that is 10k that means if you are using full wave rectifier your input is 240 volt sinusoidal your output should be 240 volt sinusoidal and it it has to be rectified right so we will see in this waveform how how your input signal is being rectified at your output signal right but for for understanding purpose let us understand how this transformer works in LT spice because this is very important to understand how this transformer works in the LT spice otherwise your otherwise your circuit won't work if you try to simulate this circuit uh, using LT spice your transfer your your circuit won't work so I have kept here the turns ratio that is one is to one right that is whatever is in whatever voltage in the primary winding it should appear it should appear at the same at secondary winding that is why the turn ratio is 1 to 1 that it means 100 inductance value is 100 micro henry for primary and for secondary also we have inductance value for inductance value of 100 micro henry here and 100 micro henry here right so if you know how how to decide the turns ratio so it's very very uh, very important to understand in LT spice because if you try to simulate uh, lowering down the voltage you should know how will you decide the turns ratio so basically it is a square root of uh, primary inductance divided by the secondary inductance okay secondary inductance so that is how you can calculate your turns ratio so one more thing since since these are inductor only simple inductor so you have to use the coupling factor so you have to go at the this spice directive and then you have to write this syntax klp l stand for primary winding ls1 stand for secondary ls2 stand for this winding and the coupling factor is one so ideally for the linear transformer it should be one right so now everything is set now i will run the transient analysis and i will show you the waveform how this circuit works so go at the simulate button edit simulation command and for now let me let me write it here stop time is 100 millisecond so 100 millisecond now i will run the simulation by using this button run button and i can show you the waveform so just go at here tile window vertically and let me show you the waveform okay 
so basically just divide this into two plot pane one is input so this is input let us see what is the voltage at input you can see it is sinusoidal voltage with 50 hertz frequency and amplitude is around 235 volt and let me show you the output voltage here and how this is working so you can see here your your output voltage is rectified rectified peak voltage so you can see for the positive half cycle it is here and for the negative half cycle you can see the output is appearing right at v out so you can see this is your zero voltage so below zero voltage for the negative cycle there is a no voltage at output you can see clearly see here right you can clearly see here so let me what i do let me merge input signal here so you can see with waiter so this is input signal for input signal your output is following to your input and let me do it here this is your output right right and here i can show you only the output voltage so you can better understand so for the input positive half cycle your your output is following your input for the negative half cycle it is clipped off and you can see it is appearing likewise okay again for the positive half cycle your output is following to input and again for negative half cycle so you can see how how your full wave rectifier basically works how your center tape rectifier full wave rectifier works so by this you can simulate your circuit in the in the lt spice so let me show you this is this is the peak voltage you are getting rectified peak voltage please please make sure that here you need to understand this is this is rectifier peak rectified peak voltage okay if you want to get this is dc voltage but this is pulsating dc and if you want to get the pure dc what you need to do is let me just quickly explain to you you need to connect one capacitor so let me connect one capacitor here quickly and i will show you how you can convert your peak voltage peak rectified voltage into pure dc voltage okay so let me connect it here and i will connect the capacitance of 470 micro volt and the voltage rating for this capacitor 470 micro henry and the voltage rating for this capacitance is 450 volt so now i will run the simulation again and you can see yep you can see here you are you are started getting the pure dc voltage let me let me increase the analysis time to one second and now i will run the simulation again and you can see the behavior now guys you can see here you are getting pure rectified dc voltage which amplitude of 239 volt right so you can see here you have started getting the rectified dc voltage okay okay so that is how a center tape basically a center tape transformer center tape full wave rectifier works by using the transformer so hope you understand how will you simulate center tape full wave rectifier in lt spice